name is David Canales. I'm the Associate Superintendent of Human uh, Resources. Uh, we, we, we strongly believe that the, the uh, education prep program, and of course the TAFI, the TAFI is the organization that they compete with in, uh, is vital to our supply chain, if you would want to say it that way, for future teachers. Uh, we recognize that uh, as, uh, as many universities are having dif difficulty uh, filling in uh, candidates to get into the teaching professions that we're going to have to grow. And so I think that uh, we recognize the importance of, of building relationships with our Taffy kids so to let them know that we want them the moment they finish so they can hopefully be part of our, our, our team the moment they finish. Well, one thing good about Taffy, the Taffy program, as well as other programs that we have in our school district, is that it gives the, the students an opportunity to figure out if this is really what they want to do. Uh, you know, it helps moms and dads where, you know, you can save money versus them going to school and saying, this is what I want to be, and then their junior year and senior year, they say, eh, maybe not. <laughs> you know, what this kind of gives them a nice taste, a nice taste of, going to the elementary schools, start learning how to teach, start having, you know, being the teacher of the day, basically, uh, as if they were the teacher. Uh, of course, being monitored by the, the teacher of record, you know, at the school. And it just gives them an opportunity to start building those skill sets that they would need. You know, it, in, in the university level, a lot of it's theory. But what really is a, what matters mostly, as you know, even your, as your first year teacher, it's the experiences. Mm -hmm. It's learning how to really connect with those kids. It's learning how to deliver those lessons uh, and understanding the pitfalls that sometimes your plan A didn't work, so you might have to go to plan B. Mm -hmm. Or if that was your plan A and you didn't have a plan B, you're going to know next time to have a plan B. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, if you do that lesson once, and then you have to repeat it, you're going to learn from those experiences where the kids, because see, for you as a person, you may feel it makes sense. But for the ones that you're teaching, you may have to find other avenues to make it, for it to make sense to them. So you learn from those experiences. So you already can anticipate where the pitfalls are going to be, and then you, go, you, you plan for that. 